Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AxeTheTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Again, very, very uh, aggressive uh, price action. Uh, Labor Day now is in our rear view window. And again, it's clear to see how good the market is, uh, how aggressive the market is, how the bulls uh, have everything under control. Okay, they really, really do. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, so very, very aggressive action today. Uh, the bulls are completely in control. Um, the market did exactly what we talked about last night in the video. I, I thought we were going to have uh, initial weakness uh, in the indexes. I thought it was going to be very, very healthy uh, for the bulls to go back down to and retest this uh, five-day rising uh, moving average and what was incredibly important on the close and the bulls did a very very good job we needed the bulls to reclaim right reclaim uh the top of the range here which was uh 80 89 60s on the close and they obviously did that if you look at the last uh if you look at the last half hour 15 minutes of trading it's an absolute uh algo fest uh into the close and the bulls again the market doesn't care. The scoreboard is a scoreboard is a scoreboard. Successfully tested uh, not only the five-day but the 50-day moving average. The bulls reclaimed the five, and we're off and running. And that's what I kept on saying today over and over again uh, in the live webinar. The market is not a short. Any single time the market comes out of a range, which we saw a very, very aggressive macro range uh, that started in uh, the middle of August, and retest that level and holds, this is all bullish, okay? Obviously, uh, there is going to be um, some very, very specific areas of weakness. Uh, and again, I wanna congratulate all you guys who came in well, short, but via puts, uh, via short Roku uh, and BYMD today, just monster, monster moves. Uh, we had a lot of really good aggressive moves today. Uh, in the live webinar, uh, just all over the place. And again, it really does show you again uh, how, when 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 uh, process uh, is you know highlighted, and you wait for your spots, and you wait for the good market conditions. Again, now that we see the volatility and the the excuse me the volume and the aggressive nature of these stocks that they're trading, it, it becomes uh, such a pleasure because you can control everything much more seamlessly. Because again, you're getting more and more. Uh, of the cavalry to kind of join you in your trade. And if you look at the, the pivots today, just, just aggressive. I mean, all across the board, aggressive. Uh, here is a pivot, man, that that traded both sides, okay? Uh, 295 bid, uh, 295 build. Uh, I took the second entry on this thing. The, didn't get the liquidity that I wanted, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so here's the 95, right? Here's the 95 area. The top of this channel is 295. So once it started building 295, I said it was this shot it gets to 297, and it went to 297 and change, big, big move. And then we talked about, again, this is why we say, guys, pivots don't care. We, we, they don't care which way the market goes, either up or down. They just want to confirm. So not only did they confirm to the upside, 295, it confirmed to the downside, right? 295 to the upside, 289 to the downside. And it got destroyed. It got absolutely destroyed. Here's the 289 level. Got absolutely destroyed on the news that uh, Apple is, again, uh, getting their feet uh, very, very firm into, into streaming uh, video games now. Again, here's a perfect, a perfect scenario that which dealership would you rather own? Would you rather own uh, a Nissan dealership and sell 3,000 cars a month? Or would you rather sell, have a Bentley dealership and sell three cars a month, right? And, and again, the reason why I say that, again, Apple hasn't really reinvented the wheel or actually reinvented anything. But they took something that they knew was viable, streaming, video games, and all that good stuff. They threw a $4.99 price tag behind it, and they're going to get a massive, massive win streak because it's perfectly priced to sell uh, to the consumer. And again, speaking of Apple, uh, I put this on Twitter. Again, I, I, I do from time to time want to you know, show people the power of the pivot. I say, hey, if this thing starts building, right? Uh, if this thing starts building above this uh, 1465, 1470, 
it should go. Congratulations for you guys. Uh, not only get in the live webinar, but in the, in the Twitter feed as well. 1465, uh, put up almost a dollar fifty very, very quickly. And uh, then before coming back, and again, there's no, you know, there's no random place where it stopped. We knew it was going to stop around that 1570, 1580 area. So beautiful move there as well. Tesla. Again, what are you going to say about Tesla? Uh, just phenomenal. I think the stock is going higher. Uh, 232 sneaky area. Uh, 234 macro. Again, I think the stock is going to 237 tomorrow before the big news. And again, here's the 232 sneaky area, right? Here's the 232. Here's the 234 macro. Uh, stock closed uh, almost 236. And I think tomorrow uh, has a puncher shot of getting to this 237 area. Any close above 237 for all your option players, this thing is going to 250. So again, beautiful, beautiful moves on Tesla. Uh, ULTA never confirmed down uh, to 25 area. Again, BYND, first and foremost, congratulations for all you guys who were short from yesterday for the 250-150s. And I said 247 is continuation. And once it started building down uh, 147, it went all the way down to the 142s. Again, I think it, I think it goes down to 40. And then I, I think ultimately it could go down to 136. Again, can we get a dead cap bounce in this thing? Yeah, probably, you know, maybe in the next day or so. But again, by Friday, I do believe sellers will regain control. And I think this thing will test, if not this week, by next week, this 136 level. And if it bridges that, this thing is, this thing is dead. Uh, so that's that, big, big moves there as well. Um, Lululemon, we're gonna talk about that for tomorrow. NTNX, right, nice trade. Again, not really my thing, but again, Pivot is a pivot of pivot. Doesn't make a difference who's in the trade. Uh, NTNX 26 needs to build. If you look at the NTNX chart, right? Nice trade, guys. Nice trade. Uh, 26 close at the highs of the day uh, at 26.56. Uh, uh, DCPH. I wasn't even watching DCPH today. What did DCPH do today? Yeah, I mean, it did, it did exactly what I said. It did exactly what I said. Broke 35. Uh, when took out 35, uh, 34, 50, went down to 34. Again, the pivot on this thing is 34 uh, now going forward. If you took it, great job. I wasn't even watching it. Uh, TTD, I know, broke down, gave about a two point move. Uh, Boeing rejected several times, uh, re rejected several times uh, to 365. I, I said fully option players as a shot, it gets to uh, 370, and da, 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 da. well, it's a 370. Again, tomorrow, uh, this thing gets above 370, it's going to go to 378. So, you know, again, we'll pretty much leave off with that. I, again, I think that the action is super bullish, okay? I, th I think the action is incredibly, incredibly bullish. Uh, and the moral of the story is uh, you got to now buy dips, okay? You got to buy dips on strong names going into rising support. That's exactly the opposite of what you do in a bearish market when you have the market going down and you're trying to sell into supply for possible rejection. So going into tomorrow, very, very bullish. I love Netflix. Uh, excuse me. I love Tesla. Uh, I love Boeing. You know, can you get a dead, dead cat bounce more and BYND? Who cares? Uh, but ultimately, I really do like uh, the tape. So let's talk about it. Let's start out with Boeing. Uh, I Congratulations think I for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.